Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how to defeat the Great Mar Marlboro, which I did have some difficulty with at first. I am playing this game on the hardest difficulty because I do enjoy challenging myself and figuring things out, but this one, uh, this one took me the most time of all the boss fights yet. Uh, the main premise here for this is I am using the Black Mage because I wanted to keep my distance. As you can see right away, you can see the uh, the Tangle grabbing me and then squeezing almost half of my health out of me right away. But what you want to do is not even worry about the health bar of the Great Marlboro. What you want to do is focus on the two arm-like tentacles that come out of each side of it. You want to you want to destroy those. You want to focus those points for your damage. I often will run in for a couple quick attacks with my hammer. Outside of that, I just stay away and I will use... Uh, fire on it because you know it's weak to fire and um, as you do break off these tentacles like i just did there its maximum amount of break gauge will actually reduce so what you want to do is consider that its health what you want to do is not bring its health down but just reduce the max as much as you can so that way when it gets low enough you can burst it enough to bring the break gauge all the way down uh, again, the health bar at the top in this first phase specifically is near meaningless. It's just so much health, and you just don't want to worry about that. Just worry about breaking the arms off as much as you can. Now, with the tentacles here, the ensnare attack, it'll actually do it up to four times. I thought it was three originally, but I learned during this fight right here that it can actually try to grab you up to four times on one attack. So make sure you're ready for it. It won't always happen, but make sure you are ready for it and dodge out of the way when you can because you cannot absorb it. I tried several times. It did not work out. Outside of that, you can absorb all of its attacks except its bad breath as well as um, the closer range. Uh, I can't remember though. The, it's like a more pink cloud that it puts in, in its immediate vicinity. You can't absorb that and you cannot absorb the bite either. So you need to evade those attacks, get out of the way, specifically bad breath because it will poison you and the poison will do insane amounts of health damage over time. It'll actually take more than a, ba a full bar of health and a half on my character just by being poisoned once. So you, you need to make sure that you avoid bad breath with everything in you. Outside of that, focus on absorbing attacks that you can so that we can build up your MP and then just keep breaking those arm-like tentacles off, specifically in the first phase. As you can see here, its break gauge is very much reduced because of how many times I've broken off its arms now and it's actually about to go down to zero, which will allow us to kick off phase two. Now in phase two, I found the Great Marlboro a lot easier because it's it, it just changes enough in such a way to where it's more relieving and how it works. It stays still a lot more. It didn't roll after me trying to bite me as much, which was a great relief. And it didn't try to it didn't try to ensnare me as much. Now, in this phase, you can worry more about the health. Uh, the, the same premise can apply here, though, where you can keep breaking off the arms as they regrow to reduce the max break gauge. The big thing here is you can already see that its attacks are a lot more sluggish. I'm able to actually get in there reliably and actually hit it with my hammer. Outside of that, I just keep hitting it with Fire Aga as I can fully charge it quite easily a lot. And then just kind of avoiding the really bad breath like that right there. Just, you just do a quick evade straight through it so I don't get poisoned. Now, do be aware that when it's hanging up on the rooftop there, it can slam down and does a big amount of damage. And then it spins around like that almost every single time as well. Um, the roll is something that you can absorb, so keep that in mind. It's actually really easy to predict. I just failed miserably there because uh, that was the first time I had seen it. This was the first time I got to the second phase myself. All, outside of that, all of its attacks are easily avoidable and absorbable in this phase, and I found it a lot easier throughout this point in time. Uh, as you, like I said, the fire does big damage, and you just kind of keep hitting it over and over. And here's an absorb on the roll, I believe. Yep, there it is. Gives a decent little bit of MP. And then you just kind of keep knocking the arms off. You want to go that route, or you can just straight up do damage like I am here. It's actually a lot easier in this second phase to do so. With that said, I'm out of here for now. I hope this video did help. If it did, make sure you leave a like on it so that way more people can find the video and get the help they might need as well. Because this fight for me, and I imagine others as well, was quite annoying and quite challenging. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for more.